Hey guys, welcome to Dominate Fishing. I'm Dan Meyer, and in this video, we're going to be talking about my top five crappie lures for the summer of, and this is the 2019 edition. We're going to be talking lures, sizes, colors, and how to fish them. These lures have absolutely been on fire for me this summer. Um, crappies are hitting them without hesitation. They're really working well, so I want to show them to you guys. That's coming up. Alright, let's dig right into lure number one. This is a brand new lure for me, and it's really been working well. It was introduced to me by a friend. It's this frizzy spoon. It looks like this. I don't fish spoons. Actually, I didn't fish spoons at all for summer crappies till I was introduced to this spoon. This is what it looks like. What this spoon does in the water is it just flutters. You can see this one is silver. Another color that works really well is gold. Um, what it does is you pull, you, you pull the lure up. I'm gonna show you it in the water in just a second. As it flutters down, the flash drives these crappies crazy. It pulls them from a distance. They come over and absolutely smash this lure. As far as I know, they make two colors. The silver and the gold both work well. Sometimes the silver will work a little better in clear water. The gold will work a little better in uh, darker or stained water. But these, this bait absolutely works well. The way I like to fish it is under a float. So right here I have a bobber about a foot to 18 inches underneath the bobber you have the spoon let me show you how you fish this bait all right let me show you how let me show you how you're gonna fish this spoon so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cast it out under the bobber and then you're going to pull it forward and that's gonna cause that spoon to raise up to the top of the water let it float back down pull it forward the spoon raises up let it flutter down pull it forward let that spoon flutter down. You can see when you pull that forward, that spoon just flutters down nice. As I'm doing this off the dock, just to show you, these bluegills and perch are coming up to smoke it. This lure absolutely drives the crappies crazy. Again, you fish the spoon underneath the float about a foot to 18 inches underneath the bobber. Now that is going to vary depending on what you're fishing over. If you're fishing over weeds, if the weeds are two and a half feet down, you fish the spoon a little bit lower. Um, if, the, you know, if the weeds are right up to the surface, you might have to use a smaller bobber and fish that bait a foot or less below the bobber. It's just going to depend on where the weeds are. Okay, let's dig into lure number two. This lure has been, it's, this is the first year I've started using this lure and it's become one of my go-to lures. It's a really high confidence lure for me and it is the Bobby Garland Slab Slayer. This is what it looks like in the package. Here it is, bam, I've got a bunch of different colors. Here's the red, um, they call it Red Horse Minnow. Right here you've got the uh, the black hot pink, looks like that. Here's one of my favorite ones, it's the electric chicken. Uh, let me show you what this thing looks like so you can really see it, not just, just in the package here. I'm going to show you the electric chicken. This lure has been really hot. It combines two of my favorite colors, chartreuse tail with a pink grub body. Let me show you how I'm going to rig this and how I like to fish it. Alright, so I'm going to fish this slab slayer one of two ways. I'm either going to fish it under a bobber. The distance you're going to set the bobber from the lure is going to depend on the, the cover you're fishing. If you're fishing weeds, you're going to set the lure just above the top of the weeds. Uh, if you're fishing pockets of weeds, the weeds come to the surface, there's pockets, then you're going to set the lure, you, you know, usually the weeds will be somewhere between, you know, 5 and 12 feet, so you're going to set your bobber accordingly. If you're fishing in 5 feet of water, your bobber is going to be maybe a foot and a half, 2 feet down. If it's eight, you're fishing 8 feet of water, you might have the bobber 3 or 4 feet down. The way I hook this lure is it's real simple. You just take a jig and put it right through the body of the grub. This, I like to fish this if I can with a 132nd ounce jig. That's what I have on here right now. But I will go bigger if I have to. Another way I like to fish this lure is without a bobber. If I'm fishing deep water, I'll cast it out, let that bait uh, drop, and a lot of times the crappies will hit it on the drop. 
if it's real deep water, like the other day I was fishing 30 feet of water, I had no bobber on, all I had was a slab slayer and a jig, what I would do is I would, I would cast it out, I would let it sink, these crappies, they were suspended 12 to 15 feet off the bottom, so they're pretty much in the middle of the water column. I'd let that bait drop, and I'd use my rod tip to slow down the, the, the uh, drop. So when I, when I was getting down to around that 10 foot, I would kind of raise my rod tip to kind of slow that bait down, twitch it a little, and then keep letting it drop. The crappie were hitting it on the fall. Let me just show you how I'm gonna work this uh, when it's below a bobber. All right, so when I'm working this slab slayer, I'm gonna work it actually a lot like we did the spoon. I'm gonna pull it forward, let it drop back down every once in a while. I'm gonna twitch it a little bit. I got a bluegill hit me. Well, but it'll either be pull forward, let it drop, or just twitch, twitch that bobber in the water. It's gonna look like that. Put a little action on that tail. Get those crappies to bite. All right, the next lure we're gonna talk about is a lure that you don't think about a lot of times for fishing summer crappies, but it works really well for one of the summer patterns, which is the crappies moving out deep. When they're in deep water, they can be uh, uh, difficult for a lot of people to catch. One technique that I like to use is jigging wraps. Jigging wraps are really popular in the fall and the winter, but they work really well in the summer as well for those crappies that have moved into deeper water. They can be hard to catch with a lot of traditional lures and techniques, but the jigging wrap can get them well. What I like to do is just pull the boat right over the crappies and uh, just snap that jigging wrap, wrap and pick them up. So a lot of times what will happen is sometimes you'll get a school of them out in that deeper water, but a lot of times they're going to be a little bit more spread out than they would be in the fall or the winter. So you can, you can fish quickly with this jigging wrap. That's what I like. You can just keep moving with that trolling motor, snapping that jigging wrap, as you go, you know, move through the whole area so you can pick up these scattered fish. I like to use uh, a number of different colors. I like uh, Fire Tiger. I like Glow. You can also use a lot of different sizes. This right here is a number five. For these, these crappies, you can use bigger jigging wraps than you would in the winter or even the fall. Actually, the fall you can get some, you can use some pretty big jigging wraps, but this is the number five. You can also use the smaller number three. You can use the real small, I believe it's the number two, the ice fishing one, that'll work too. I like to use the number five when I can, they'll hit it. And you also can pick up some bonus walleyes while you're fishing these crappies in that deep water with a jigging wrap. All right, our number four lure is a lure that I've used for a very long time. It's probably one of my top summer crappie lures. It's tube jigs. Anyone who's been following me for any length of time knows I love fishing tube jigs. A lot of different colors work really well. Here's just a plain chartreuse, a great color. Here's a pink silver. That's a pink silver glitter. That works really well. Um, pink's one of my favorite colors. Here's red silver. Also another really good color. Here's one of my all time favorites. It's pink and white. It is hard to beat a good pink and white tube. Here's a, uh, here's, this is similar to the pink and white. It's the, the pink and silver. Another top lure uh, color. It's, it's hard to beat a tube jig. I'm gonna fish a tube jig. I'm gonna show you how I hook them and uh, how I like to fish them. I like to fish these tubes. Here's the pink and silver. I'm just gonna, this is a 132nd ounce jig. Put it right through the tube and pop it out somewhere near the bottom. Slide it all the way up onto that bait hook. Bam, it's gonna look like, gonna look like that. I like to fish this pretty much the same way I would the slab slayer. You're gonna fish this underneath a float just like that. Re you're gonna work it back to the boat, just twitching it, giving it pause every once in a while. You can fish it like the spoon where you just pull it forward. You can see how that raises the bait up, lets it fall back down. This bait also works well fishing wood or over brush piles or cribs. Again, you 
you're gonna set your uh, your bobber appropriate length depending on how deep the water and how high that cover's coming up. Finally, the last lure that's really been working well for me this summer is the Berkeley Galt Minnow. This is another one that I fish quite often. Anyone who's been with me any length of time knows I love the Berkeley Galt Minnow. Still working really well. Here, this is the one inch minnow. It comes in the little uh, jar. This is the two and a half inch minnow, comes in the bag. I, I really like the one inch for crappies. They, they don't hesitate to hit it, they just smash it. Some days you'll do just as well on the two and a half inch minnow, it's a little bit bigger. But on the one inch minnow, you're gonna get a lot of, a lot of hits right away. The only thing about the one inch minnow, sometimes you're gonna catch some of the smaller fish where you're gonna get more big fish on this one. Not that you won't get big crappie on this one, but this, the, some of the smaller fish can hit this smaller minnow. This is Emerald Shiner. I also really like Fire Tiger. All right, so these lures have been the best for me this year. Go out and try them. If you've got a lure that I haven't mentioned that's been working really well for you and you'd like to share, I'd love to hear about it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.